Hmm. Or more. Some people they suffer for this life. Oh. Like this life, some people they really really suffer. The person went to say this life no balance. It really talk and well because truly truly this life is not balanced. Why some people are enjoying, some people are suffering. Now see life. Welcome back again to Rose Martin's blog channel where we talk about some touching stories and things happening on the internet. So my people, according to this woman's story, she said that uh, she have been married. She's married, and currently she's she decided to leave her husband's house. I think it's over two months now she have been staying in an uncompleted building and the reason why she left there my people mm, she said that she have been passing through some domestic violence this woman have a six year old daughter still living with the father with her husband but she she decided to leave for her life and this is where she have preferred to come and stay because her life was in danger my people you guys this woman is suffering and she needs help like seriously let's hear her story guys start telling her story they even have to contact uh, the husband to confirm whether the woman is telling us the truth so let's watch the video to the end and see how the old thing ended guys i just pray she find help as soon as possible because this place is not good at all the lady is living in a place like this because of domestic violence her husband dumped her for somebody else and ever since life has been difficult for her because her parents are not alive anymore okay so what happened okay what actually happened is that i came out from a very abusive marriage the marriage is uh, up to 10 years now since that 10 years i've not had a peace of mind there's no peace there's no happiness in that marriage I've just been suffering and also I've lived the marriage several times, up to seven times, just to find peace. But each time I come back to the marriage, the problem continues. So even presently, I've been, I've been having a serious, severe high blood pressure for up to six years now. And the thing continues, the thing doesn't go because of the problem problem that keep on occurring so you've been living here since two months now yes, sir. because you don't have a home of your own i don't have a home sir hi my name is oluchi blessing carlo i came out from a very abusive marriage because of domestic violence for the past two months now i've been living in this uncompleted building without door and window please right now I need uh, help to start my life afresh. I find it hard to believe that a beautiful lady like you is living in a place like this. What really happened? Okay. I came out from a very abusive marriage um, because of domestic violence. Actually, the relationship started in 2011 till 2014 when we got married January. So after the marriage, since after that marriage, it has been one problem to another. Initially, when we were dating, there was no uh, problem like that. But actually, he's this a uh, womanizer. The problem that we were having during that uh, relationship time was, even during the marriage time, is a uh, womanizing. Each time that I leave the house, maybe I travel or go to anywhere, he always bring uh, a, a lady into the house to stay till I come till I come back. So since. So that has been an issue. So after the marriage, since that 2014, there has been one problem to another, one problem to another. I've not had peace. I've not had joy. Him and the him and the ladies. Every time, there's no time. He's not um, dealing with uh, ladies. He even had this one that I have have two children for him. That one is there, causing problems, looking for my looking for trouble every time each time i go out that one will always come into the house the last time that i traveled he came she came to the house the lady that he impregnated came to the house and packed my things and left and up till now she didn't return it i even go to i even went to a police station but all to no avail even the domestic violence even when i go to police station to to lay complaint they will always tell me to go back home that is a family issue so the, my family also have tried all their possible means to resolve the problem but all to no avail i've even left the marriage several times up to like seven times to go out to see if i can 
find peace. But each time I come back to the marriage, the problem continues. So this has been the problem day by day. And the problem has also caused me a health, health condition. For the past six years now, I've been suffering a severe high blood pressure, which has refused to go. So even up to now, I'm still taking drugs and the health condition is deteriorating. So please, I seriously need uh, help. I don't have any help. I don't have anyone to help me. I'm an orphan. I seriously need assistance to start my fresh, to start my life afresh. Now, I'm very depressed and and I'm unhappy. I don't know where to go to from here. I don't know where to start my life again. Please, I seriously need assistance to start my life afresh. Wow, I'm so shocked to hear this. Now, I'd like to ask, what was the last thing you experienced in your marriage that made you leave? And then, today, you are living in an uncompleted building, trying to find peace. Okay, it's because of the domestic violence. The last thing that happened is because he hits me on my chest. And knowing fully well that I'm having a heart problem, when he now hits me, he now tore the gun I was putting on. So that was really what triggered me to leave the marriage. And also, the lady that he impregnated outside is using my daughter. I have a, a six years old daughter. He's, she's using my daughter's picture and the name to tag her rest in peace on Facebook. Are you serious? Yes, I'll show you, sir. I wish people would be calling me and asking me, how did he, is this true? For several times she did it. Even the Facebook account is still active now. And I, I would like to see this Facebook account, okay? So after this interview, you show me because I like to put it on the screen. So you mean that your husband impregnated somebody that has two children for him? Why you? You have one, okay? And then this lady is taking your daughter's picture. She writes RIP, post it on Facebook. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The lady will take my daughter's picture and uh, her name and be tagging her rest in peace on facebook and your daughter is still alive yes sir she's very much alive is your husband aware of this yes he's very much aware of it that is the problem this the the solution is not coming out from him okay i would like to call your husband to confirm if all this you are saying is true okay do you mind you can go ahead and call him Wow, this is really, really sad. So, I'll call the husband to confirm if what she's saying is true. Because how can somebody be living in a place like this? It doesn't even make sense at all. Hello? Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, oh, my name is uh, Mr. Loki. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Loki Udo. Okay. Yes, um, I'm calling because of... Um, I wanted to confirm something. It's about your wife. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. Um, Abuja. Yeah. So your your I met your wife and um, um I saw her in a situation that was not so good. And then I asked, Madam, why are you in this situation? And she told me that um she had issues with her husband that there were some things that happened that made her to leave for her own safety. So I'm calling to hear from you if what she said is true. She said that there were domestic violence and so many other things that she mentioned. So where are you now? Are you I'm in Abuja. Yeah. Where is your office? I think I would like to go to your office. You like to go to what? I like to go to your office. Uh... Can't you answer me on the phone right now? Okay. No, I need to go to your office to be sure. To be sure that what? I want to go to your office, your office, sir. Sorry, sir. Oga, okay, are you going to answer my question or not? Before before you come to my office, are you going to answer my question or not? No, I need to go to your office. I need to go to your office now. Oga, listen, let me tell you something. Can you hear me? If you're unable to answer me, I will just take it that whatever your wife has told me is true because this woman is living in... Oga!
Shut up your mouth. Uh -uh. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Okay, listen to listen. Okay, let me tell you something. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. I talk about Oga, there's nothing wrong with coming to my office. It is not simple. This woman is living an uncompleted building. Oga, there's nothing wrong with coming to my office. Do you, know, do, you, do you know his house? No, no, do you know his house? Okay, let's go to his house. You'll see me very don't worry, you'll see me very soon. Uh come, please, I need to see you now. I mean I'll meet you now that you're in your house. So I've spoken to the husband and he did not seem interested to actually say anything about the situation. I also drove down to his shop at Wusi Market, but unfortunately, yesterday there was a fire outbreak in Wusi market and because of that they closed down the market so i thought maybe if his dish market is closed it means that he's not in the shop so we now had to drive from Wusi down to Guarimpa his house when we got there we could not find him there but we saw somebody else and um we insisted that he comes and see us but then he said he cannot come that we should come back to the house to see and he was not willing to say anything he was not willing to he was not willing to make any comments about his wife and what happened and why she's now living in an uncompleted building with the way the husband sounded it didn't seem like he had any concern about her so it seems that this woman has been left to her own fate and um honestly i don't know what your opinion is but left alone for me i don't think we can allow her to continue living here we have to find an affordable place for her to start her life something that if we are able to pay for it for maybe one year or two years you know depending on the kind of support we get she will be able to continue from where we stop and we should be able to raise some money for her to start business you know so um guys i really don't know whatever i think just say it in the comment section and let's see how we can help this woman do you have any other thing to say for now no sir i really thank you for this opportunity sir what is something you're praying and you're asking god to do for you what i'm seriously praying that god should do for me is to restore my health fully and also god should provide the help financially for me to start my life over again i really need an assistant for accommodation and to start up a business so that i can able to uh, take my daughter and take care of her she's still six she's just six years old so she's still a little child she's still with your husband yes sir she's still with him okay so what you need is an accommodation I go to, each time i go to visit her she'll be crying that she wants to follow me she wants to stay with me and sisters i think that you've heard our story yourself what do you think let me know in the comment section meanwhile i don't think that after interviewing this lady she should continue living in a place like this so i'm going to ask an agent to get a self-contained apartment something very affordable so that if you are able to pay um a place for her should be able to continue maybe for the next year you understand me then if you like to support so we can get her like um, cooking items um a foam a bed you know standing fan all those things you know curtains so we'll be able to equip the house with basic things that she needs you know and then we'll be able to look for a shop that is affordable and then we can help her raise money to start up that business so if you are interested in this lady's story and you like to support her um that would really be a good thing please send in your donations and i would like to ask you how have you been living in this place what are some of the dangers you've had to face since you've been living here honestly it's, it has not been easy it has not been easy like i it during during in the night i can't even sleep because of mosquitoes the window is open the door is open and since this year it has rained twice and since that time uh, each time it rains i don't used to sleep i always stand because the rain used to enter inside because there is no door it, uh, on the on the house so the rain used to enter inside both doors the breeze that used to blow both doors and sand inside so that is how i used to stay all this while even uh, i would be inside uh, these um, chickens 
will be coming in because there is no door to the place. But in all this, you prefer to stay than to go back to your marriage? Honestly, yes. Yes, 100%. I prefer to stay here. People have been advising me to go back, but I have known what I've suffered uh, since the beginning of this marriage. I honestly prefer to stay here than to go back to that marriage. The marriage has really damaged my life. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, do you think we can help this lady? This is a very, very touchy story. I can't even bear it at all. Like, seeing this kind of person suffering, living in an uncompleted building. Oh, my goodness. And some people are saying that she's very healthy. Why not she go and look for work? Like, she's young and all of that. You guys not, you guys not understand. Like, being in this kind of situation, your mental health, like, you need to be mentally stable. Like, everything needs to be okay before even... I don't know how to put it, guys, but you guys hear her. She says she's not feeling okay like she's um she's having a head condition and all of that so all this thing needs to be need to be settled and before even thinking of work like she won't even be stable working you guys please i don't know share this video so that uh people that will support we also support if you also can support her my people let's share the video and support her as well guys for the husband seriously i don't even know what to say in his own side my people Leave your own opinion in the comment section. Tell us what you notice and what you observe, what you think about this video. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, guys. See you. Bye for now.